Well, I think that the Western media has been very, very biased on the question of Xinjiang. And I think the part, the part of the reason for that is because the Dalai Lama has become quite something of an icon, you know, um, in, in the West. And his view is very, very different from China's. And people in the West tend to believe his view, his version of, of things. Um, but, you know, he's very out of date and he's, he's very um, biased in his... He doesn't want to lose his power. He doesn't want to lose that, that old state that he dominated. And um, I think that um, it's, I think it's the West gets a very, very bad image and they get a very wrong and unfair image too. And I think, you know, there's quite a few people in, in uh, the West who still think that Tibet should be independent of China. And that's not going to happen and it shouldn't happen. One of the main differences that I see is that it's become much more modern, more prosperity and, and people can do things that they never could do before. Um, and their housing is improved, um, all those things. Uh, and that um, is a very good thing, in my opinion. But there's another thing I'd like to draw attention to. And that is, um, you may know that the United Nations got some, some several uh, special projects in 1999. Uh, and these included elimination of absolute poverty and hunger. They included things like um, gender equality lowering um, maternity mortality rates, lowering infant mortality rates, raising life expectancy, incre increasing literacy, and all those things like that. And um, China has been brilliantly successful in, in accomplishing those aims, but along, although Tibet is not um, as highly literate as um, most of the rest of China, it's still increased greatly. So that means that the life of the Tibetan people now is much, much better than it used to be. Well, I mean, I think it's a good thing to promote cultural diversity, which is what they do. I think it's a very good thing to promote modernization, which is crucial to the policy. Um, I, think it's, um, I think secession is not sensible, and I think it's a bad thing if there was going to be a you know, real separatist movement. I mean, uh, the Americans have uh, pushed some in the past, like in 1987, 88 and so on, they were, there were some, some uh, and in 2008. And I think it's, it's, I think it's bad to have that sort of movement. I think it's very harmful to Tibet and I think it's harmful to Tibetan people and um, I, I don't like that.